measuring up a space for the missing. But it won't be police posters or crude e-fits on show here. At the other art fair, they're hanging 20 professional portraits of true personalities. Some have been missing for months, others disappeared decades ago. And you've given him that sort of cheeky look, which I remember him for. Peter Boxall's son, Lee, was last seen in 1988. After heading off from his home in South London to a football match with a friend, he never came home. Now, from an old, forgotten photo, artist Amy Florence has captured Lee on a hot summer's day in his grandmother's garden. It occurred to me that his family have had to live with kind of all the questions of where he's gone and what might have happened to him for 30 years, which, I mean, he went missing, actually, before I was born. And that, to me, I kind of I found very moving. Well, you've also captured Lee's expression. Today is the first time that Amy and Peter have met. But sadly, Lee's family are far from alone in their suffering. There's been a 72% increase in missing persons cases dealt with by the Met in the last decade. At the moment, they handle around 55,000 a year. That's around 20% of the entire total investigated by police nationwide. One of the most famous faces on the wall here, the Manic Street Preacher's guitarist, Richie Edwards, last seen in 1995. The artist worked from an e-fit. This is the man whose disappearance inspired the exhibition, Tom Moore, who went missing in Italy back in 2003. A reconstruction of how Tom might look. His brother Ben, an art curator, hopes the publicity from the event may even spark a reunion or two. I hope not doesn't just help me with my own search, but I hope it helps, you know, all, all the families of all the missing people in this room um, with their own searches. And as well as helping, helping them with their search, I hope it also brings them solace and time to reflect. This exhibition is very, very special because every portrait shows somebody that has a, lo a loving family that are missing them. It can't end that waiting and longing, but Ben hopes the exhibition can bring some comfort to those whose family photos will always have one face missing. Lorna Shaddock, ITV News.